March Madness 2015. And out of the Midwest region, we had a matchup between the 12th seeded Buffalo Bulls and the 5th seeded West Virginia Mountaineers. And of the early games, this was one of the more tightly contested ones. The Mountaineers were up by 10 points at halftime with the score 36 to 26. But in the second half, the Bulls battled back and they were able to tie up the game when Xavier Ford hit a tray with less than three minutes left to tie the game at 62. But then Devin Williams made a pair of clutch free throws and that would put the Mountaineers back up by two. <clears throat> he then came up with a big defensive rebound and then he got a big offensive rebound. And then Tariq Phillips nailed a three-pointer. And now the Mountaineers were up by five. The Bulls then missed a tray. The Mountaineers got the rebound. But then they were fouled. Gary Brown went to the line after he had got that defensive board. He went one for two. And now the Mountaineers were up by six with about 20 seconds left to play. Xavier Ford threw up a tray. It missed. And the Mountaineers got the rebound, and this game came to a close. So West Virginia dodges the bullet as they survive to advance to the next round as they're moving on to the round of 32 in the Midwest region. And in the Midwest region, they're going to be waiting to see who wins between Maryland and Valparaiso as that game will be going on later in the afternoon. So the Bulls advance to the next round. In, in, or the rather the Mountaineers advance to the next round. The Bulls are eliminated. They did put up a good fight. They had three guys that were in double digits for the Bulls, but the Mountaineers had 21 points coming off the bench. So their bench came up huge in this game for West Virginia. They also had three starters in double digits. Devin Williams had 17 points and nine boards. So he's one board shy, the double-double. Dexter Miles Jr. had 10 points in three boards. And Jawan Staten had 15 points, three boards, and seven assists. So he was just three assists shy of the double-double. The real difference in this game was the turnovers, the steals. Is the Mountaineers had seven steals in the game versus four steal, steals for the Bulls. And what that does is that gives the Mountaineers three extra possessions. And those three extra possessions turn into six points. And that was the margin of victory for West Virginia. So those steals came up big for the Mountaineers. In their defense especially, those defensive boards. Although it was a tie, 22 apiece on the defensive glass. Although... The Mountaineers did out-rebound the Bulls, but just barely as they had 31 rebounds versus 30. So very tight game as Buffalo nearly upset West Virginia, but the Mountaineers come up with some clutch free throws and some clutch shooting and some clutch defense at the end of the game to fend off Buffalo, who had made that comeback and brought it all the way back to a tied game with less than three minutes left. But the final score, West Virginia 68, Buffalo 62.